Uh, this is uh, the next part of uh, installing the DRO on uh, the bridge port. Um, what happened was um, I ended up uh, uh, purchasing uh, the one of the slides about um, three and a half, four inches too long. So uh, unfortunately, that was for the z-axis, and I and it wouldn't mount up uh, right. So I had to shorten it. And I had gone on the internet and looked at other people shortening them, and I thought it would be pretty easy. But it ended up being challenging, but not impossible. Uh, let me explain what I did. The it was uh, physically this this much too big. So the glass, and you know, normally you're supposed to be able to take these apart, slide the glass out of it, and then shorten the aluminum frame, and then take a diamond wheel and shorten the glass up. But unfortunately, these, this particular glass slides, you can't slide the glass out. The glass is actually um, glued inside. There's a groove in here and it's glued inside the groove, so you can't slide the glass out. There's a little piece of glass that was still stuck in there and I didn't try to remove it. You can probably see that. So what I ended up having to do since I couldn't get the glass out was um, first I took a hacksaw and I very carefully cut down from the top on the hacksaw I had this clamped in a vise with some padding and cut very carefully down from the top let me get closer and stopped short of the glass and the glass is inside there I don't know if you can see it or not but the glass is inside there uh, I'll show you on the piece I cut. So when I cut down, I didn't want to hit the glass, and I stopped. And I then I laid it on the side, and I cut down again very close to the glass this direction and that direction. The only thing that was, sh uh, was not cut was the back side because I didn't want to hit the glass. And at that point in time, I took my Dremel with a stone wheel on it, and there's the wheel right there, and I was able to grind very carefully the back side of the aluminum until I just came next to the glass. And at that point in time, um, I cut a little bit on each side uh, of the aluminum. And then I had no choice because I couldn't cut into the glass. Um, I first went out to the Home Depot and purchased uh, a diamond cutting Dremel. This ended up being 25 bucks. And um, so I was going to use it, but I couldn't find the mandrel for it. It kind of made me nuts looking around for the mandrel. So I decided that uh, I'll just pick up another mandrel. And I happened to stop at Harbor Freight on the when I was on the road, and I picked up their diamond cutting. It's smaller in diameter, but it was 5 bucks, And you get five, five wheels, and you get the mandrel. Now, granted, it is smaller in diameter. You can see the two diameters, but I was so close to the glass, I didn't need a big diameter. So I decided instead of opening that up, I decided to use these diamond cutting wheels. And I was able to, before I used the wheel, first thing I had to do was I had to be able to get access inside here. So I took the Dremel with the, with the regular stone wheel and I was able to slot the aluminum along one side like this and I was able to remove this piece. And once I was able to remove the piece, the glass was in here, and this wasn't cut yet, and I was able to go in there with the diamond wheel and cut the glass. And once I cut through the glass, then it made it very easy to finish cutting aluminum and take this piece away. And then once I did that, the glass was flush, and because of the piece that goes on it, it's got a little recess in there, you can see that. That has to fit inside, so I, again, this was a, another Home Depot purchase, I mean, um, another Harbor Freight purchase, and these are diming uh, Dremel uh, burrs, and I had these quite a few years ago, and um, what I ended up doing was using water, and I was able to grind the glass back about a quarter of an inch, and it ground very easily, hopefully you can see that. And I was able to grind the glass further back towards this direction. So now when I put this in, it doesn't hit the glass. And this is the other part of the mounting that has to be mounted to hold it in place. Now the other problem is I had to re-drill the holes because this piece here, 
as you can see that there was holes drilled and tapped. And these are metric holes, so I didn't happen to have a metric tap, so I had uh, 256 screws and tap, and I just drilled it for 256, but they just hold the end cap on. Now the reader that slides in this assembly, I removed the reader, and here's the reader itself. And there's quite a bit of electronics on it, as you can see. It reads the glass. So I very carefully removed it. I'm going to be inserting it uh, when I put this end cap on. But um, once um, I assembled, um, I'm going to assemble everything, then this slide will be shorter by approximately four inches and will fit on the bridge port. It didn't take long to do once I had all the stuff together. Um, but I had to run out and pick up uh, diamond wheels and a bunch of things. So I'm not having, uh, not being able to remove the glass made it more challenging. But I had really no choice uh, as far as uh, having to cut the glass because it was just too long to mount. And there's the glass part that got removed. Um, I'll probably shoot another short video of assembling this thing. I just very carefully took this reader section slid it out. Uh, after I finished cutting everything I flushed it out with water, let it dry it overnight. I didn't want to have any metal chips inside the slide. So the next uh, video you're going to see is the slides uh, back together and mounted. What I'm finding is that it's taken me, so far I have the X and Y slides mounted. What I'm finding it's taking between two and four hours per slide to mount because you have to, even though they give you brackets, it's not enough. You need other brackets. So by the time you finish fabricating and drilling and tapping into the bridge port, it's approximately taking that long to um, to mount the slides. I'd say uh, the fastest was two and the longest was about three and a half hours to mount the slides. Um, but uh, that's what it takes. So this is the last one. This should go fairly quick. This should be at least a two hour uh, mount for the slide and once I do that then I'll shoot another video uh, of the whole assembly so you can see how it worked out. So this is what it takes to shorten a sli uh, glass slide up. That's The glass is not removable. It is doable. You have to be very careful and go slow but it is certainly doable. And we'll see you on the next video.